What is up, guys? Welcome back to Gamer God Channel. I am Roland, if you didn't know. Hope you like my little new intro there from uh, the Breaking Bad series. I thought it was kind of cool, so I just threw that together real quick. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be checking out Robocraft stuff. Of course, uh, checking out the Megabots from the episode. And I'm also going to be checking out the Brawl mode for the mini macro meshings, they called it. I guess they, wanted, they can't infringe on mic uh, micro machines, so they couldn't use that exact phrase, which I thought was kind of funny. But uh, this is what I put together first. It's a little electroplated vehicle with four wheels and then I got the suspension rods for each wheel the idea behind this was like let's build something kind of tough right at 500 CPU and see if our increased armor uh, could you know stave off some attacks but what I quickly found out is that everybody puts on the biggest gun they possibly can <laughs> can find onto uh, four wheels or something pretty OP and so uh, building the tough bot is not a smart way to go not only that but these little lasers I got on there are just little vaporizers so it didn't really do the damage I needed it to but uh, me and Bambooms took it out for a test drive and I gotta say it's a pretty cool looking car but unfortunately, cool looking car for 500 CPU doesn't really cut it. You need the one with the big bad cannon. So I came back into the shop real quick and uh, threw together something 500 parts. And uh, as you can see, I fixed it. And uh, now we correctly have the biggest cannon possible on four wheels. <laughs> so I'm going to take out this Mega Plaza real quick into the micro machines and see how we do this time. Hopefully. Uh, a little bit better than uh, last time where we just got slaughtered basically, but we were a pretty we were a pretty punching bag for sure All right, we're coming up here on top and uh, let's see if we can scout out some of these enemies. I'm pretty fast for uh, For being a big-ass cannon on four wheels All right, and now it's just basically oh tricks look at that. I got the tricks uh, For being a big cannon on wheels, but let's see Ah, looks like we got uh, a good assist on the first one there. Bam, booms picked that up. He must be uh, right behind me. Oh, yeah, I see him on the map there. All right, let's go across here and see if we can't <laughs> get a, another kill without getting blown up first. All right, somebody got me with their plasma. Well, that's good. Okay, let's let's jump down here into the, into the gutter. Let's get dirty down in the gutter and uh, clean house. There we go. Got it. Finally got a kill, I think. Midnight on our team. He's just cleaning house. He's already got himself 13 kills. Good lord. Anyway, that's not all I want to check out in this episode. We've also had some changes in recent passage to uh, nanos, where before they kind of look like uh, little crosses that would float to somebody when you're trying to heal them. Now they've uh, basically increased the length of the beams, and they've increased the uh, particles, I guess, per second, so it looks more beam-like, they say. Anyway, I'm kind of curious. I really didn't play with... Uh, the corrected nanos before, so this will kind of be new to me. But I figure we'll take out one of my uh, mechs here after we get done with this little game and try that out first. Uh, but the uh, electro plates did seem a little better in the last one. I mean, it was a little tough vehicle, but this is not what I needed for this particular build. But I could definitely see like uh, nanos, or not nanos, uh, electro plates and stuff coming in handy when you're uh, putting together a mega or something like that, or a larger bot with a higher CPU. Anyway, so uh, I got the Theta Battle Mech back in. I did a little bit of uh, renovating on it. So just I wanted to have five of the Nanos and two of the Mega Guns. And, of course, no more radars anymore, so that came off. I had to patch a couple holes on top of the thing. But uh, it still hops pretty nicely. I can jump across here and get over to the plates. So uh, it's certainly fun. I should probably put this back up on the uh, shop, too, as I really haven't been posting or playing very much in Rubbercraft lately. Let's go ahead and take this point real quick. And then we'll pop on over and see if we can't uh, try out these nanos. I want to see what they look like when actually somebody is hurt. And I think these are the medium grade ones, not the ones that are the, the very best caliper of nano. So they shouldn't heal quite as quickly, but I want to see... I, I know they were improved a little bit. I just want to see how good they are now, if the medium ones are really the right choice or if you just go with the constructors still, even they're a little bit more. Here we go. We finally get some healing in. And, okay, I mean, I like the look of this better than what I saw before, but it's still little crosses. So, not as cool as the laser, I think. But it's, it feels like it's the uh, Proto Seeker, basically, but the healing Proto Seeker. It should make the Proto Seeker be little negative signs now, since you got little positives on the uh, nanos. <laughs> just, just to subtract people's health. Mm, I would say this uh, medium... Nanos leave something to be desired. I probably want to go with constructors in future builds. I might even upgrade these on this uh, mech to be five of the uh, constructors. So I think you only need four, but uh, having the extra one could get for redundancy. Let's see. Can we take this guy out? Get a couple hits on him. Ah, there we go. All right, let's head back over here. 
And we only got one more point we need to take. So if we can hold them off from uh, capturing another one, uh, we'll be pretty much ahead. Well, it's already 30 24. All right, let's jump over here. And we'll wait for somebody who needs healing. Not really doing much in the way of damage in this game. Oh, that was a quick one. I think they just uh, they just pulled the plug on it. All right, well, quick victory. That's fine. We'll give them a good game. And uh, now it's time to uh, try out the Mega. Now, I was thinking about doing a Mega Helicopter. Uh, but I'm thinking instead I'm going to do a Mega Tank. Because Mega Helicopters just have a too hard of a time flying. So this is the Urban Baboon. It is a 10,000 CPU Mega Tank. Uh, and I made it kind of in a similar style to the one I made in Crossout uh, called the uh, Badlands uh, Warfloat. But this one's got a lot more tracks. See, we got eight tracks in here instead of just two on the Badlands. And uh, it's super bulky, lots and lots of blocks in it. And then I stuck on 28 of the Plasmas, five of the Ions, and two of the uh, Flat Cannons along with the uh, Energy uh, Module and also the Blink Module too if we just need to get out of Dodge real quick. And surprisingly, this thing runs really nicely. It kind of feels like it's floating a little bit. I'm not sure if that's just because of the uh, eight tracks on two on each of the corners, but it gets around pretty well. It's not getting hung up on anything, which I'm kind of... I was wondering about, you know, the landscape, like, higher centering me on something or something like that, but so far, so good. All right, let's see if we can do a little damage here with our shotties. And... Well, a little hard to hit that guy. I think maybe I need to uh, fine-tune the shotties a little bit. All right, we'll get some more energy here, and we'll use our uh, plasma. I'm just using the uh, basic blue plasma, so I didn't go for the epic quality uh, high-end plasma. But uh, these are cheaper, and I figured, you know, with 28 of them, it'd take a lot of time for somebody to strip them off. I put them on the front and back, too, so I wouldn't have to turn my vehicle every time somebody, like, sneaks up behind me, as I figured that would happen a lot. And then, too, with the uh, front shotties and the rear shotties on, these, uh, on this tank, we can do a little bit better with the flank uh, shots when somebody comes up to our side. So this is just an AI match here, but uh, I wanted to jump in real quick and see what kind of abuse I could take. So we'll probably stay around their spawn camp and uh, see how much damage we can uh, get uh, taken before we start getting kind of into a danger zone. And so far we seem to be doing okay. The only thing about this is that the energy uh, kind of sucks on it. That's why I chose the uh, shotties though, as they do pretty decently at 10,000 energy. And then I have the flat cannons too, which don't use a whole lot, and then a little uh, plasma definitely uses the most energy but I have a lot of redundancy and stuff too. And it shoots kind of at a pretty kind of slow rate here, I guess, uh, when I'm totally out, but it's still able to uh, throw those shots at a pretty regular interval. So not terrible, not terrible. All right, let's run out to the end here and kill these bots without their respawn shields. I'm back here. Ah, look at that strategy. He's like, I'm just gonna, if I stand on top of your gun, you can't shoot me. It's a good, it's a good plan, it really is. All right, let's come back over here. And we'll take off some of these guys with the shotguns. I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good way to go. The little shotguns on this—you couldn't use those before on the old megas. You had to use like the mega SMG and the mega plasma. I remember back in the old day, that's what it was, and it was only 75, 55, I think, CPU. And now it's 10,000. So this is a lot beefier and bigger. And then I like that you can use any gun you want and any movement type you want. The tank tracks are definitely great for a, a giant mega of some sort. So I like that we can use them now on this. All right, we've taken a pretty good amount of damage. I should probably uh, warp out real quick and see how that works with a 10,000 CPU robot. <laughs> nice, pretty pretty nice. I like how it gracefully floated down to the ground. I'm gonna back off a little bit, try not to take another hit, and let's see what uh, it looks like when we regenerate, because we've got pretty chewed up there by those AI bots. And look, you can see a couple holes in the armor, and definitely the back part is all, all chewed up. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like the, the little healing effects now with the green showing off the little pluses and stuff like that. There we go, got our guns back. Well, not bad. I mean, Tanky Bot is tanky, right? And if you guys want to check out Tanky Bot, you can go on to uh, the CRF. Again, it's uh, under Urban Baboon, if you want to check it out. Uh, I have it underneath my player name. I think it's the only robot I have up on there since they had done some uh, CRF rehauling. I don't think there was a lot left on the uh, CRF until uh, people just recently uploaded some of their uh, Megabot creations. So, But this one's definitely up on there. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for checking out this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you guys are first-time visitor here to the channel, please consider subscribing. Mash that subscribe button for me if you would. I usually do videos uh, similar to this style of game. So you'll see stuff like uh, Galactic Junk League, Robocraft, uh, Crossout. And I actually am working on a uh, Galactic Junk League video right now, too. 
Anyway, guys, uh, definitely thumbs up the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys have been building for your own Megabots. And I'll see you guys on the very next episode. Later.